Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Uh, you're able to find the book worldwide on Amazon in both Kindle and paperback versions. You can find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. You can join us on Facebook. This morning we want to do the uh, murder the staircase murder uh, and that is the on on December 9th let's see on December 9th 2001 uh, this man Michael Peterson uh, his wife Kathleen was found dead in a pool of blood at the bottom of the staircase of their house in Durham, North Carolina. There are a lot of uh, strange things uh, about this case, and so we're going to examine the mystery of the staircase murder. He was actually uh, Michael Peterson, this man, uh, a successful novelist and an attorney. <clears throat> he was convicted of murdering her. Uh, back on in 2003. So the murder happened in December 9th, 2001. He was convicted of this murder in 2003. Uh, and then he, uh, after serving like 15 years, he was scheduled for a new trial uh, on... May 8th, 2017, okay, he'd been serving after 15 years in prison, uh, and he took a plea, uh, and he pleaded guilty to manslaughter, but not first-degree murder, and he was released with time served. So there's a whole lot of questions, because it's a very interesting situation, okay? And this woman is Elizabeth Ratliff. <clears throat> Uh, he has two adopted daughters from this woman. Okay, those are not his daughters. He's a stepfather. Uh, they were never married. Elizabeth Ratliff and he were never married. But in Germany, uh, as this case went on, it was found that she was found dead at the bottom of stairs exactly the same way as Kathleen Peterson in 1985 in Germany. <coughs> so there is... The German authorities reopened the case. That was considered an accident. They reopened the case. So it's very interesting that two women died exactly the same way. He's the last person ever to see Elizabeth Ratliff, Ratliff and he's the last person to be in the presence of Kathleen Peterson. So, uh, there's a number of questions. So the first question I want to ask is the obvious question. Is Michael Peterson guilty of murder? Because he's, he's now been released and it's manslaughter. It's considered a... Manslaughter is an accident. Okay, but you should have known better. It's an accident with gross negligence. Any reasonable person would have known better. So that's what he's convicted of at this point. So is he guilty of the murder of his wife, Kathleen? Why, those are interesting cards. Okay. So I asked, is Michael Peterson guilty of the murder of his wife, Kathleen? And I got Diamond Ring, Trinity, Strength, and Karmic Shift. So a big change has occurred for him. He served 15 years and then he was out. Trinity, all things working together. Diamond Ring is marriage. Marriage, all things working together. Strength. Let's add this up. Five and... 11, 16, four spades, coffin, death, strength, 
new uh, new rooting. Uh, he had a lot of help, a lot of people helping him, and got him out of this situation. This seems to be saying more like the cards are talking about how he got out of this. I'm going to ask again, did he murder Kathleen? Did he murder her? Is this cold-blooded murder? Because i got to know. Okay, there's the murderer card. Okay, so is this cold-blooded murder? Okay, here's the murderer card. The executioner, king of spades. Home, king of spades, yes. Yes, he murdered her in the home. Uh, and there's a lot of activity associated with this. Uh, this is 13 and 9, 22, 26. Finger of God. He reached down and he changed everything and he murdered her. Okay, so, yeah, he, he did murder her in cold blood. It's interesting. So, the cards love to describe. They always describe because the spirits are, they're from another world. And their world is not the same as ours. Their world is a... Uh, so the cards describe. The cards describe. Uh, so yes, he is a cold-blooded murderer. Did... Uh, okay, this is exactly the same. She died in Germany in 1985. He's the last person to see her. Uh, he left her house at like midnight, after midnight, the night before. Uh, and then in the morning, she was found dead at the bottom of her stairs. Okay, and he never reported anything, and the police and the military, he was in the military, I guess, at the time, and the military, everybody investigated it, and they determined that it was an accident. She had a, uh, a head... Uh, she she also uh, she had had like a head a hematoma or whatever. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't write I didn't write that down. So, it is Michael Peterson? Did he murder Elizabeth Ratliff? Okay, and then he adopted and raised her two daughters. He had two sons himself. Uh, and then he raised her two daughters, so four children. Uh, so that's that's kind of, I mean, depends how you look at it, but <clears throat> the murderer of, if he murdered her, so did he murder her? That's interesting. Ten, tens are completion. Two is broken relationship. Inheritance, hamster wheel, and roses. 23. This adds 23. 23 is six clubs. Relationship. Deep-rooted relationship. They were never married. Uh, so he did adopt the daughters. And they were sweet on each other. Uh, and the relationship got broken. We don't know what happened between them. Interesting. Hamster wheel. Inheritance. Was was he and Elizabeth uh, Ratliff? Were they intending to marry or something? I don't know. Yeah, something terrible happened. Yeah, the relationship broke.
So were they, I asked, you know, as a follow-up, were, was he and Elizabeth Ratliff intending to marry? And a disaster happened. We have all these tens, and here's another ten. Everything just end. their relationship just ended in disaster. Uh, everything. Eights are everything. This is everything material. 14, 24, six spades. Incubus succubus. Yeah, their relationship just ended in disaster and everything went sour. Okay, and that's how she ended up dead at the bottom of the staircase. And that's kind of what happened here with him. Uh, he was on top of the world. He, he's a lawyer. He uh, wrote three novels and he became quite successful. He made a lot of money with his novels. He didn't have to work anymore. He was completely retired. They lived in a 15-room home. She was very successful Nortel uh, executive. She worked very hard. He, they both had quite a lot of money. Um, and they were, they were kind of high society people. Uh, they, they were living very well. Uh, now, uh, <clears throat> he was doing so well that uh, because of his book, he became a little bit famous. And so then he started working at the Durham newspaper. And he was doing all this muckraking stuff where he was against... Uh, where he was against corruption and the police, and he was talking about the police and, you know, how bad everything is, and so he made a lot of enemies. So he then ran for mayor uh, in... Uh, when did he run for mayor? In 1999, he ran for mayor. Okay, so everything started going to hell for him around 1999 and during his mayoral race okay he always told everybody that he was a decorated he he walked with a limp okay because he was injured and discharged as a marine he signed up as a marine and he went to vietnam and he always told everybody that he was injured in battle and he received all these awards he was given two he was decorated with two medals Okay, but his injury was a car accident on the base. And he would tell everybody that he was injured in battle. So when he ran for mayor, uh, they, they did some background on him. You know, the enemies did some background on him and found out that he had been lying about his injuries. And so he lost the mayoral race. And then they found out that he was uh, talking. To, there was all this porn and he was talking to gay men and, and a gay... Uh, gay. So uh, a, a gay prostitute escort, escort. That's what they're called, a gay escort. And so this like ruined him. He was on the top of the world, and then he was just falling from grace. So was she about to divorce him? Was Kathleen about to divorce him? Is that why he killed her? Divorce. Ooh, my, my, my. That's so interesting. Okay, was, was Kathleen about to divorce him? Let's just zoom in a little bit here. Okay, was Kathleen about to divorce him because of all the, the gay stuff and because he'd been found out about the gay stuff and his reputation was ruined? Okay, Cornerstone is a solid relationship. This is about the marriage. Cornerstone, butterfly, devil. Devil and butterfly. He, he's a devil flirting. Butterfly is very sexual. Okay, so he's out there in the city flirting very sexually. Uh, Cornerstone says their relationship may have still been solid. So 11 and 4, that's 15, which is four clubs, four clubs. So she was not going to divorce him, okay? But he was found out as being sort of a devil and being very... Um, and, and devil can also be... He just... Yeah, he's just being uh, bad behind the scenes, okay? The, 
Also, they were in a huge amount of debt. They had $143,000 in credit card debt when uh, Kathleen was killed. And so she had $1.8 million. She was worth $1.8 million in insurance. Did he kill her? For the because he intended to kill her, uh, this was murder. Did he kill her for the insurance? I don't know where to throw this. Where do I got some space? Did he kill her for the insurance? Fox, scapegoat. Wow. Okay, there he is. We know this is about him because there's the man. Did he kill Kathleen for the insurance? Fox, scapegoat, incubus, succubus, man. Okay, incubus, succubus is very sexual. Scapegoat is a bad reputation, feeling blamed. Fox is very clever. Okay, lawyers will show us a fox. Fox is about using the situation. Okay, female cards are about using the situation. But it's him. This is Michael. This is the man, Michael. So this... Michael is acting as the fox on the situation. 12 and 8, 26. Yeah, finger of God. Okay, uh, he didn't kill her for the money. Uh, he just felt it wasn't really about the money. It was about he was, his reputation was ruined because of the sexual, the sexual innuendo. So he went from the top of the world to the bottom of the world. And... And that's why, that's why he did it. I think she was shaming him. And it's a very interesting reading, okay? Because the marriage is solid, but she's shaming him. She doesn't want to divorce him, but she's shaming him. And she's probably never going to forget. And he, you know, people are very sensitive. Okay, he's... People are very sensitive, and you can't treat them like crap all the time, uh, even, if, even if he deserves it, okay? And she's got a real point there, you know. Uh, you, anyway, so let's, let's sum up here. Okay, let, let's sum up. I'm not ready to show you that. Okay, so my first question was, did he murder her? And I got these uh, enigmatic cards here. Trinity, strength, and diamond ring. Big change. This is talking about how his situation has changed dramatically. He was a convicted murderer, and then he got time served and convicted of manslaughter because he had a lot of help, and everything just worked out for him. So that's what the cards wanted to talk about first. So I asked... I asked again, did he murder her? I got the murderer card. Yes, he murdered her in the home. Okay, through... And he, he really worked it out. He made a whole story. He put her at the bottom of the stairs. She was found. He was essentially convicted because of seven lacerations on the top of her head. Okay, that would not have occurred from a fall down the stairs. So there's seven strike marks, very solid strike marks on the back of her, on her, on her skull that caused her death. Uh, and then her neck was fractured as well. And then this whole thing at the bottom of the stairs was staged. And the autopsy determined, the doctor who did the autopsy determined that she, she could not have sustained these injuries from that fall. Okay, so he murdered her in the home and he staged the whole thing. So he's a murderer, even though he got away with an Alford plea eventually. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, he went from the top of the world to the bottom of the world. Okay, and I asked, was she planning to divorce him <clears throat> because of the, the all the porn and and the fact that he'd been lying about some of his service, uh, you know, he inflated it to, to make himself more of a war hero. 
Uh, he was a Marine. He did serve in the Marines. He was in Vietnam, and he was decorated, but he didn't receive several of the medals that he said he did, and he wasn't injured in battle. And that killed off his mayoral bid. And then he ran for city council, and that killed that off, too. So was she planning to divorce him? No. Uh, the cornerstone is solid, but he's showing as a devil and a butterfly Devil is also an addiction card. He was kind of addicted sexually, and he was going out into the world and feeding his addictions. But she was still working it out. She didn't want to divorce him. They had too much in common. Uh, and here, here's a pattern. Okay, with her, he murdered her. And what's the? they, they were in a long relationship together. Okay, and then suddenly it broke. Elizabeth Ratliff in Germany. And the, the question is, why? You know, or, or did he murder her? Well, very suddenly, their relationship ended in disaster, and everything just went sour. This adds 24, six spades. Here's the six spades. She, I think she found out about him. He, this man, he's, he's surprisingly sensitive, and he doesn't he wants a good re reputation. And when his reputation was soured and she found out things, she probably found out about his homosexual activities. And so he killed her. And then he, he's kind of a good Samaritan. He, he adopted, it, it's, it'll be interesting how people react to that, but he adopted her two daughters. He killed her. Then he adopted her two daughters and raised them as a good father. Whatever that means. Um, so here, so it, he's really very sensitive, okay? He's very conflicted. He's struggling with homosexual desires. He's very conflicted, but he's this family man, and he's very responsible, very successful. So I asked, did he kill her? Did he kill his wife for the money? No, it's not about the money. It's about the shame, and it's about the bad reputation. And he felt that this was his way out. And I think that she was shaming him. She was shaming him. And she was shaming him. And that is the special brew that, uh, that Michael Peterson just simply can't... His reputation is very important to him. And he can't be shamed. It wasn't quite about the money. I think he killed both of them. But it was because of shame. And because of the loss of reputation, which uh, quite interesting. Anyway, that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Uh, uh, you can find the book worldwide on Amazon, both Kindle and paperback versions. You can find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. You can join us on Facebook. And also, I think the, uh, the whole owl theory is foolishness. He definitely killed her.